Mark is a great guy and one of my best friends, man. I've, I've uh, been fighting with this guy for over three years now. He's one of the best people I know. He's totally worthy of your vote. So I hope everyone that shows up really uh, considers voting for him. Man, there's a lot of Liberty lovers in this room, and this is beautiful. <laughs> we we got to make that a habit here in Pennsylvania. Yeah. We, we're going to need a bigger room next year, though. My name is Mark Bazzacco, and I'm running to be the chair of the Libertarian Party of Pennsylvania. Yeah! <laughs> I've been, uh, I think I joined this party six years ago, and I've been extremely active over the last six years. I, uh, you know, Ken, Ken Krolchuk's one of the first people I met in this party. He's kind of been a mentor to me and everything. I ran his campaign for governor. He convinced me to be a board rep for Montgomery County probably six years ago, five years ago, and I served on that board for four or five years. Um, he's also convinced me to run for office three different times. I basically, same township as me, Abington Township, so he's run for the same state rep seats, same commissioner seats as me, and I've crushed all his records, so. <laughs> um, but I want to talk a little bit about how I ended up on this stage tonight, and uh, you know, a lot, a lot of that had to do with the conversation I had with Michael Heiss uh, about three and a half years ago. I remember exactly where I was standing and what was going on. And, you know, I always knew Mike as this fiery activist in Lancaster that participated in every parade and knocked on every door for every candidate in the area. I mean, when, when somebody needed somebody to help with their campaign, Mike was the guy we always called, you know. He was like the bulldog of activists in, in the state. And he calls me up and he's like, Mark, we have an issue. I'm like, what, man? Things are going good. We're running good campaigns. He's like, he's like, nah, he's like, I was part of that Ron Paul uh, campaign. And he's like, we're losing the fire. He's like, I'm, I'm going to do whatever it takes to reignite that Ron Paul revolution fire that I saw in 2012. And that's, and that's what he told me. And I said, then how are you going to do this, Mike? And he's like, well, I'm going to start this caucus. And so I'll start out with a Facebook group and then we're going to, run chair candidates for national and we're going to recruit members in all the states and we're going to have affiliates everywhere and we're going to start raising money and donating and he laid out the whole plan of the caucus to me i said mike you're an idiot stop being an idiot and just keep knocking on doors and i swear to god i look back on that day talking to him and everything he said that he was going to make happen has been happening um, <laughs> I don't know how he does it. I mean, I honestly don't. I think he has a crystal ball because he is literally predicting his own future and making it happen. I've never seen anybody with such a drive to fight for liberty and include as many people as he can in that fight. Um, and he keeps, <laughs> I'm good. I can keep talking about you, Mike. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna wrap it up because Mike's getting turning all purple over there, but. <laughs> But so Mike approached me, me and Mike, he moved into my county, me and Mike have become good friends over the last couple of years and we talk constantly and stuff. And he approached me and he said, Mark, you, you, you're the guy that has to run for chair this year. And I was like, me, why me? And he's like, you're the one guy in this party that understands what we're trying to do and that everybody has a respect for, for, for how hard you work. Um, you know, I've, I've always tried to include everybody in everything I did. I was just a chair of Montgomery County party for the last uh, year and we tripled our membership and the way we did that was giving everybody in the county a voice I introduced every new member at every meeting explained to them how the how the county party works and that they have a say in what the libertarian message is in our county and stuff um, every time somebody had a new idea I found a committee to stick them on and made sure that you know they volunteered for something give them something to do and uh, you know, I've, I've been very inclusive with everybody I've met in this party. And when you give people tasks to fight for liberty, they run and they do it and they come back and then you give them a bigger task. And that's what I want to do on the state level. Um, there's a lot of, I don't want to bore people with stuff that goes on in our board meetings and stuff, but I have a lot of ideas to, to make our board meetings be a lot more efficient and run a lot smoother by doing a lot of the same things I did in Montgomery County. Um, the other thing I want to do in this state and, uh, I've 
basically been doing it since I joined the party and seen it, but um, everybody needs to find ways to get along with each other. It seems like social media is just a different world. It's not reality. And uh, I see so many people with these, you know, they got their chest puffed out and they're tough guys on social media and then they come and they meet you in person. They're like, oh, hi, Mark, how's everything going? Oh, so good to see you and everything. So I want to bring people together. I want to have events like this. I, I, want, I want people to meet face to face and work together and work on campaigns together and stuff. And that's going to be one of my main motivations when I'm chair of this party is to bring people together. The other thing I want to do is I want to stop chasing away people that aren't, that are only 92% libertarian. You know, <laughs> I came into this party and I was like, yeah, libertarians, man, they, they want to fight so I could smoke weed, you know. I'm like, this, this is my party, you know, and then I came in and they're like, oh, no, we're not just fighting for, for your right to smoke weed. We're fighting for every single one of your rights. And we're not just fighting for rights that matter to me or you. We're fighting for everybody's rights. And I want to make the Libertarian Party of Pennsylvania the place where anybody can come when they need their rights protected and, and somebody to fight for them. And I... So I got one quick question for everybody in this room. Tomorrow we have uh, the LPPA board meeting at 9 a.m. tomorrow morning right down the street at Hotel Indigo. How many people in this room are planning on attending? That's what I need to see. How many people are thinking about attending but didn't put their hand up yet? Okay, you guys all got to come too. Well, there might be a place. There might be a place for you tomorrow too. Mike, Mike will probably touch on that later too. So anyway, my name is Mark Bazzacco, and all you people that put your hands up tomorrow, I hope that you consider voting for me. Um, I'm running for state chair. What's that mean? That's all. I, I only talked for three minutes. <laughs> I'm done, man. <laughs> I'm wrapping it up. <laughs> Come out tomorrow. Vote for me, Mark Bazzacco, for state chair. Thank you, guys. All right, I'll fill in Mark's gaps. That's fine. <laughs>